right, today we're making a quinoa and edamame salad with a lemon Dijon vinaigrette that's sometimes called cowboy caviar. This is a delicious and healthy and really, really easy recipe to make. And it's great for a summer potluck. Well, you like quinoa, right? Yeah. It's a superfood. It doesn't give me superpowers. Maybe it does. What about edamame? You like edamame, right? Yeah. Edamame. Edamame. No, edamame. It's edible mixed with mommy. Edamame. You laughing. Start with a half a cup of quinoa and a cup of chicken stock or water. Chicken stock is an easy way to make things taste way better, and I make my own. I had to pull the one on the right out of the freezer for this shot. In a pinch, I keep better than bouillon in the fridge. It's better than water, but does not beat making your own. Place the stock or water and the quinoa in a small pot and bring it to a boil. Then cover and let it simmer for 15 minutes. For the salad, you'll need one can of black beans. You could use kidney beans, pinto beans, catalini beans. You could use garbanzo beans, but black beans are the traditional bean for this. One and a half cups or a bag of frozen shelled edamame, one red pepper diced, one cup of cilantro or one small stock chopped, three green onions chopped, a half a red onion diced or about a cup. I don't know how big your onion is. Four garlic cloves minced, two cups of frozen corn, but two ears of fresh corn would be better. And honestly, a quinoa and edamame salad doesn't sound very cowboy. Let's fix that. Lightly brush the corn with olive oil not extra virgin, and throw those on the grill medium heat for three to five minutes per side. I could fire up the Weber, but this is quick work for the gas grill. Yeehaw. Rinse the black beans and edamame. This should also thaw out anything frozen. Now put everything in a large bowl, including the cowboyed up corn. Hopefully you timed it right and the quinoa isn't steaming hot. Cooking. You could also add a minced jalapeno to add some heat, but I'm protecting my wife's taste buds. For the vinaigrette, you'll need a half a lemon, juiced, a quarter cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and two tablespoons of smooth Dijon mustard. But of course. Combine the lemon juice, soy sauce, olive oil, and mustard in a medium bowl and add some salt and pepper. Whisk the vinaigrette and pour it over the veggies and mix it all up. The Dijon in this vinaigrette highlights the crisp vegetables and pairs beautifully with the semi-dry and light body rosé. And I know the perfect one. Now it's best to pop the salad in the refrigerator for a couple hours to let the flavors combine, but the family usually invades the kitchen and steals a nibble or two or three. And as a dip or a side dish with a beautifully cooked pork belly. Either way, you can't go wrong.